See, you cannot be maintaining a steady relationship with others, with men, when you don't have a cordial relationship with your God. Yes, you are a covenant child of God. Things that work out for others may not work for you because you are different. There is need for you to reconcile with God. You have been running away from God. Yes, by doing that, your relationship with God will be restored gradually and gradually till you find your feet again in Christ. Then you can talk about relationship with men. He's got a diploma from the school up in the sky. Christology, pneumatology, demonology, and eschatology. He's got all the knowledge. He's got the theology. Pastor Zebedee, preaching on the end times. He's on a mission, saving souls and changing lives. He's a self-righteous man with the fire in his eyes. But sometimes he's just preaching to hear his own voice. Hello. Yes, this is Pastor Zebedee on the line. Speaking. Oh, oh, oh. Sister Susan. How are you doing? Oh, it's been a long time. Yes, yes, yes. Ministry is doing great by the grace of God. Yeah. How have you been? Walk and everyone around you. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, presently, I'm having a little um, Bible study, personal Bible study. Yes, yes. But um, since you've called already, uh, I can give you time to talk. Yes, no problem. Just go ahead. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I understand you. You mean <laughs> nothing is working around you? All your relationships have crumbled, including your relationship with your family. Wow, wow, wow. I'm not surprised. Yes, I'm not surprised. If I may ask, how is your relationship with God? Yes. In the past one year, how has been your relationship with God? See, you cannot be maintaining a steady relationship with others, with men, when you don't have a total relationship with your God. You are a covenant child of God, for God's sake. Yes, that's what I've been telling you, and I've been telling you this all these years. Yes, you are a covenant child of God. Things that work out for others, they don't work for you, because you are different. Yes, okay, okay. All you need to do is to reconcile with God. Yes, reconcile with God. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. See, Jesus is still in the ministry of reconciliation. Even just as the Bible says that he has permitted the ministry of reconciliation not to us. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18. The Bible says that all things are of God. Who has reconciled us back to himself? And has committed unto us the ministry of reconciliation. Yes, yes, it, it goes further to say that even God was in Christ reconciling the world back to Himself. Yes, that's verse 19 of Second Corinthians chapter 5. 
Yes. And in verse 20, Apostle Paul said, I beseech you, brethren, be thou reconciled to God. That's the word of God, my dear. Be you reconciled to God. Yes, you have to reconcile with him. Oh, I should tell you more about reconciliation. Reconciliation is the coming back together of two parties that parted ways. Yes. You know, there was a covenant relationship between God and man in the Garden of Eden until man sinned against God and God separated man from himself. After Adam and Eve disobeyed God and sinned and were chased out of the garden. That was when separation between man and God started. But thank God for our Lord Jesus Christ. As the Bible said that God was in Christ reconciling man and the world back to himself. Yes, my dear. There is need for you to reconcile with God at this point in time. You have to go back to God. Yes. Or oh, have you not heard? Have you not read it in the Bible? Isaiah 59 from verse 1 and 2. And the Bible says that the eyes of God is not blind, that it should not see. His hand are not too short, that it should not bless you, that it should not touch you. Yes, but iniquity has separated you from your maker. So it's sin that brings separation between God and man. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So what I want you to do is to reconcile with God. You have been running away from God. You have backslidden. You have deviated. You've gone astray. And you've been away from God for too long. So how do you expect your relationship with men to work when your relationship with God is not working? Yes, make amen. Yes, you have to reconcile with God. Oh, oh, oh. I should tell you how to reconcile with God. Acknowledge your sins and ask him for forgiveness. And let him wash you in the blood of the Lamb. Yes, and then your sins will be forgiven. Yes, and after you have done that, you have to go back to church and identify yourself with the brethren. And start fellowship with them regularly. Start reading the word of God on daily basis. And of course, prayer is very important. Yes, by doing that, your relationship with God will be restored gradually and gradually till you find your feet again in Christ. Then you can talk about relationship with men. All those relationships with men that have not been working can be restored after you have reconciled with God. Yes, even that of your family. That's okay. That's okay. I will be expecting your call. And I'll be expecting to see you in church also. Yes. Yes. Uh, no problem. No problem. If you think coming to fellowship with us is better for you, then go ahead. We'll be waiting for you. All right, my dear. God bless you. All right. Stay connected in Christ. God bless you. Hmm.